and welcome to Bottoms Down, Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carolyn. I'm so glad you joined us today. So we're coming to you from our Bottoms Down YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. And don't forget, it's free. We'd love to hear from you, so please leave me a comment. You'll only need your chair today. And let's get started. All right, so we're going to move forward in our chair, right? We're not going to be leaning back. We're going to lift that heart up, pull that belly button into the spine. Keep those shoulders down out of the ears. Go ahead and place your hands lightly on your thighs, palms facing up. Now we're going to connect our feet to the ground. We call this grounding. So I want you to think about your feet. Hey, you have like four pressure points. Have all four points on equally weighted on the floor. And the next thing I want you to think about are your sits bones. So think about those pointy bones that we sit on and I want you to have them equally weighted on the chair so you're not leaning one way or the other. All right, let's go ahead and close our eyes. And just simply connect to your natural breath. You feel that inhalation and exhalation. And begin to deepen that breath, inhaling a little more deeply and exhaling a little more completely. We're going to move into our diaphragmatic breath, that belly breath. As you inhale, the belly extends. And as you exhale, you pull the belly button to the spine, actively pushing the air up and out of the lungs. Do that again. Now we're going to inhale to four counts, and then I want you to exhale to five counts. Something like this. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And breathe more. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your intention for today's practice. One more breath. Bring your hands back down to your thighs. Oh, open your eyes. <sighs> Let's drop that left ear to left shoulder. Mm -mm -mm. Feel that nice stretch. Let's go ahead and drop our chin to our chest. Left ear to left shoulder. And chin to chest. All right, let's slip forward and we're going to look over that left, right shoulder first. It doesn't matter. Go ahead and look center and look over that other shoulder. Go ahead and look center and let's do a couple of shoulder rolls. Oh, yeah. And reverse it. Mm should feel really good. All right, very good. Okay, so we're gonna move into a cat and cow. We're warming up that spine. So place your hands lightly on your thighs, elbows are wide, belly button to spine. All I'm gonna do is tuck my chin down, roll my head down. I'm gonna look at my belly. Now I'm gonna lift up, thumbs to the back wall, Open up that heart. That should feel really good. Let's do that again. Round it down into your cat pose. Open it up into your cow pose. Let's add the breath. Inhale in cow. Exhale into your cat. Inhale into cow. Can you use that diaphragm? Can you use that belly breath? Exhale into cat. 
and release. Let's roll those shoulders again. Oh, yeah. And reverse it. All right. We're going to take those hands up to the ceiling. Really stretch like you're trying to touch the ceiling with those hands. The palms are facing one another, but they're not together. All right, let's take that right hand down towards the floor. So I'm going to try to touch with my left fingertips the ceiling, and I'm going to try to touch with my right fingertips the floor. So stretching through. Stretch, 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 and release. Okay, we're going to do that again. We're going to go up first. Mountain pose, shoulders down, extended mountain. Now bring that other hand down. Try to touch the ceiling and try to touch the floor. Stretch. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, and release. Very, very good. Okay, now if you have shoulder issues, uh, which I totally understand, you're just going to keep your arms here at um, goalpost arms, and you're still going to get that leaning mountain, okay? But if you're with me, I'm going to bring my hands up, palms together, interlace fingers, point your finger to the ceiling, and we're going to lean our mountain. So we're going to lean it to the right first. Feel that stretch. Then I want you to turn and look up at the ceiling. Take that twist out. Come up and we're going to go the other way. Lean. Now we're going to twist and look up at the ceiling. Take it out all the way up and bring those hands down. All right. Everybody doing good? Okay, so the next pose is called Half Lord of the Fishes. So we're going to take our right knee and we're going to open it up nice and wide, okay? So you already feel the inner thigh stretching, knees towards toes, okay? So it's your second toe. So don't let those knees fold in. We want to keep the knees open, feeling that inner thigh stretch. Take this hand, we're going to bring it all the way across our body and grab the chair, all right? Now, lift the crown of the head to the ceiling, turn, and look over the back of your chair. All right, let's release that, and we're going to do that again. Bring it all the way across your body, grab the chair, lift the crown of the head to the ceiling, turn, and look over the back of your chair. And release. Very good. Now this knee, I'm going to let it fall towards the floor. So I'm kind of coming a little closer to the edge of my chair, and I'm letting that leg, that knee, fall straight down towards the floor. Now that might be right where you want to stay, and you can bring your hands to heart for your crescent lunge. If you want, or you can hold the chair. If you want a little bit more, I'm going to push this foot back behind me. See the difference? I'm just getting more stretch here. That's all it is. But here's the thing. If you push your foot back and then all of a sudden you find you're leaning forward to kind of compensate, I would rather you keep the knee down, keep the heart lifted, okay? Let's go ahead and bring our hands to heart. Notice how my heart is lifted, my head is to the, towards the ceiling. Pretty good stretch right here, you feel it? Let's release that and we're going to do it one more time. Here we go. Lifting up. Crescent lunge. One more breath and face forward. Have that feel. So that same leg now, we're going to extend it in front of us. So we've just stretched the front part of that leg. Now we're going to stretch the back of that leg. All right? So again, extend the spine long, crown of the head to the ceiling. Put your hands on the thighs. Keep the back flat and just let your heart fall forward. So remember a minute ago we were doing cat pose where we rounded our spine this is not that. I want you to keep the back flat. All right, let's lift up, and we're going to do that one more time. A crown of the head to the ceiling, belly is tight, and lengthen through. All right, let's do the other side. Here we go. Left knee is going to open up nice and wide. I'm going to get everything set first, right? Super important. Form, 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 right? Super important. Keep those knees in alignment. All right, let's grab that. Or we're going to take that hand, bring it across our body, grab the chair, crown of the head, lifts, turn, look over the back of your chair. Let's release it, and we're going to do that again. Here we go. Bring it all the way across your body, crown of the head, lifts, turn, and look over 
the back of the chair and we're breathing. One more breath here and release face forward. Okay, so are we ready for pyramid pose? Remember we just stretched the front of that leg. Oh, I forgot crescent lunge. <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> come back to this position. <laughs> All right, now let's let that knee fall down. You're going, wait a minute, Carol. We didn't, we, you can't do it on one side and not do it on the other, right? Okay, so that knee is either going to fall straight down towards the floor, which is fine. That's a great option. Or you're going to push that foot back behind you and lift your heart. Well, you're going to lift your heart in either position, whether the knee is to the floor or the foot is back behind you. All right, lift that heart, bring your hands to your heart and feel that stretch. All right, let's release that knee, and we're gonna do that again. Ready? Here we go. Lifting up. Oh my goodness, I feel that stretch. One more breath. All right, release it. Face forward. Okay, now we're gonna do pyramid pose. We're gonna extend that leg long, toes are up towards the ceiling. My hands are gonna rest right here on my thighs for support, okay? Extend the spine long, belly button to spine. Let that heart fall forward. Are you feeling the back of the leg stretching? So we want to keep the leg straight, but we don't want to, you know, we keep a little micro bend to that knee, right? We don't want to lock out that knee. Let's go ahead and lift up. Can we do that one more time? Extend the spine long, belly is tight. Let that heart come forward. And we're breathing. Just one more breath here, and up we go. All right, and let's get a sip of water. Let's come to standing on the right side of our chair. So we're going to be standing here facing our chair and I'm going to be about a step away, okay? So not, not too far away from my chair. Now we're going to move into a cat and cow. So I'm going to pull my belly in nice and tight and I'm going to let my heart fall. I'm going to place one hand in the seat of my chair and I'm going to place my other hand in the seat of my chair, okay? So if you need to make some adjustments, make some adjustments so that you're in, you know, feel like you're in alignment. So it's really important that we kind of have our shoulders in alignment with our wrist and our hips in alignment with our ankles, okay? All right, so I'm gonna look down at my chair and I'm just gonna let my belly fall down and I'm gonna lift my heart. And my hips kind of lift as well. So there's our cow pose. Now I'm going to pull my belly button to my spine and I'm going to let my head just fall down into my cat pose. Let's go ahead and do cow again. Dropping the belly, lifting the heart, lifting the hips, and cat pose. Belly button to spine, tuck the chin, really feel that head falling. Let's add the breath. Here we go. Inhale into your cow pose. Exhale into your cat pose. Inhale into your cow pose. Exhale into your cat pose. Come back to neutral spine. Pull your belly button to your spine. Let go of your chair. Roll it up nice and slow. All right, how did that feel? So that should feel really good. And as you move into that cat pose, if you really kind of accentuate that shoulder forward and the tucking of the chin, you may get a little extra stretch there. So we're gonna do that again one more time, just like that, but we're gonna just you know move through with the breath. We'll go through three times and then we'll move on, okay? So belly tight first, pull it in, come forward, place one hand in the chair, then the other hand in the chair, right? Here we go. Drop the belly, lift the heart, 
Cow pose, inhale. Exhale, round it down. Really tuck that chin. Feel that head tucking. Feel the stretch in the neck and the back. Draw that belly into your cow pose. Move into your cat pose as you exhale. Inhaling to cow pose. Last one. Exhaling to cat. And come to that neutral spine. Okay? So the next movement is called wag the tail. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our, I call it the hip tip, right? So we're basically just moving that tail over. So I'm just kind of twisting and I'm taking my hip tip and my rib tip and I'm trying to make that space smaller, okay? So you've got the hip and the rib and I'm just trying to make that space smaller. So that's kind of the feeling that you got, all right? Let's come center. And let's go ahead and go to the other side. So this is our starting, and then we'll be adding on. Let's come back center. Do that one more time. I just want you to get the feel of the wag first. Come back center. You should be feeling that sideways. You should be squeezing the hip tip to the rib tip. And come back center. Okay. What we're going to add on now is as I'm twisting... I'm going to twist to the left, right, and I'm going to look over my left shoulder. Come back center, and then go the other way, and then look the other way, right? So we're looking the same direction of the squeeze that's happening. Come back center, wag your tail, and look. Come back center. Wag your tail and look. Come back center. Pull that belly in. Roll it up. Nice and slow. How did that feel? A little, little stretch through the side waist, but we're getting that neck stretch at the same time. We're going to move behind our chair for the next one. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hand and you're going to place it on the opposite side of the chair. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my other hand and I'm going to bring it back and I'm going to take that shoulder behind me and I'm going to twist and look. So we do this in the chair, don't we? This one is a standing twist. Let's go ahead and look forward, and we're going to do that again, okay? So take this hand out, opposite hand back, turn. So remember to take that shoulder back first, right? And then we're going to look. So we're feeling the center of the body is, is stretching. You should feel those side waist muscles stretching. You also should feel your neck stretching as you're looking over the shoulder and release. So the other thing that's super important in here is that you keep those shoulders down. If you don't keep your shoulders down, then uh, you may not feel the stretch quite as much as certainly you're not going to feel it as much to the shoulders. Okay. All right. Here we go. We're going to do that same thing. We're going to move it around. Shoulder is back. Looking over. So I'm kind of using the chair a little bit as lever, as a lever as I increase my twist. And release it. And let's do the other side. Here we go. Arm is back. Pull that shoulder back. Looking over that shoulder and feeling the stretch. One more breath here. And release. Okay. So for the next one, you're going to be turning around and not facing me. So let me show you real quickly. Watch me, and then when you turn around, it'll make sense. So we're just going to do, and if you've been with me before, it's a mini camel. We're not going to do a full camel, but it's going to be a small camel. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the back of my chair, and I'm going to lift my heart up, right? So I'm using my chair as I'm holding on, and I'm squeezing my shoulder blades behind me. 
and then I'm gently looking up where the ceiling and the wall meet. Okay, did y'all see that? So basically, I'm here, I'm grabbing the sides of my chair, but I'm kind of using that, and then I'm looking up, and then we'll, we'll add a couple of things on, but from that position. Okay, you want to join me? Here we go. All right. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Shoulders are down, right, out of the ears. I'm holding onto my chair. I'm going to lift my head up slightly, looking where the ceiling and the wall meet, now I'm going to look down at the floor and I'm going to look up where the ceiling and the wall meet. I'm going to look down at the floor. Do not lose the squeeze between the shoulder blades. Looking up. One more. Look it down. Looking up. Now just look out straight ahead. Look over your right shoulder. Look center. Look over your left shoulder. Look center. One more. Right shoulder. Look center left shoulder, center, and release. Turn around and face me. Is everybody okay with that? That feel pretty good? Nice little stretch? Yeah? All right, very good. Let's grab a sip of water. Okay, we're going to come standing behind our chair. Now, it's kind of hard to see me, so instead of being behind my chair, I'm going to go ahead and turn my chair to the side. You stay facing me behind your chair. Okay, so what you're going to do is I want you to take a step back so that you have, your arms are long, but you can still touch the back of your chair, okay? So, we're gonna begin, pull that belly in, and we're gonna let our heart fall forward and just dra drop your head between your arms, okay? So that's our first beginning position for our forward fold. Let's go ahead and tuck the chin and roll up. Checking in, how does that feel, right? So if you feel like you're getting dizzy, then all you're going to do is not put your head down so far, right? So you can be right here. You don't have to be here. It's okay. You can just be right here, and that's perfectly fine. All right, here we go. Let's do that one more time. Let that heart fall forward. Your position, whatever works for you. Now, we're going to take our right knee, and we're going to bend that knee, we're going to take that same shoulder and let it fall down, okay? So it's falling down towards the floor. Now I'm going to look out towards the left, so the opposite way. So I'm looking the opposite way of where which leg is bent. Does that make sense? Now take the head, look back down at the floor, straighten the leg, the shoulders come back square. Let's go do the other side. Bend the left knee, that left shoulder falls, and I'm looking over that opposite arm. Take the head, look back down at the floor, straighten the leg, and roll it up. Okay. So checking in, how did that feel? So we're going to do that again, and I want to give you an option, an add-on. So remember in my classes, if you don't want to add on, you don't ever have to add on. But if you want to add on, instead of being on the back of your chair, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my chair back around now, right? So instead of being back here doing this, what you're going to do is you're going to come and you're going to place your hands on the chair and do it, okay? On the seat of the chair and do it. Now, again, just whatever works for you, you've got to listen to your body, right? So again, I'm a good step away from the, from the chair, pull my belly in, I'm going to hinge forward, I'm going to put one hand in the chair and the other hand in the chair. I'm going to let my heart fall forward, and here I am at a forward fold. 
Now, another thing to think about, if you want to bend your knees a little bit, that's okay, right? It's okay if you need to just give those knees just a smidge of a bend. Okay, let's take this leg. We're going to bend it first. That shoulder's going to come down. Now I'm going to turn and I'm going to look over this arm. Does that make sense? Do you feel it? Get a little deeper stretch into here, right? You feel a little more stretch, all right? Here we go. Look back down at the floor. Straighten your leg. Let's go to the other side. Bend the knee first. Bring that shoulder down. Now we're going to look over the other arm, if you will. We're breathing. One more breath here. Go ahead and look down at the floor. Straighten those legs. Roll it up nice and slow. All right. How did that feel? Good? Okay. <clears throat> now, if you're... Um, if you're off the seat of your chair, you're going to come back behind it, okay? So we're going to do what we, we did seated called thread the needle. Now we're going to do it standing with our hands here on our chair. Okay, are we ready? So we're going to hinge forward. My hands are on the back of my chair, and I'm hinging forward. All right, I'm going to take this hand, and I'm going to extend it out first. My leg stays straight. Now I'm going to bring that arm through, kind of under the arm that's on the chair. My ear is towards the floor. Let's bring that arm up. And we're going to extend it through. We're going to bring that arm up. Now listen, we're going to extend it through. Now bend that same knee lengthen through and look so my ear is towards the floor i'm looking out the other way my arm is extended breathing 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 one more breath release put the hand back on the chair and roll it up it's called thread the needle it's a really good one to do on the mat if you're on all fours you really get a nice stretch through the shoulders. We're getting a bit of a stretch, but we get a little more stretch on the mat, but that's okay, this is good. All right, here we go. We're gonna roll down first, hands are on the mat, let that heart fall. You should feel a little stretch in those shoulders right here. You feel it? All right, other side. Take that arm up first, and we're gonna extend it through, stretch it out. We're gonna take that arm up, we're going to extend it through, stretch, push through, bring it up. Now listen, we're going to stretch it through. This time we're going to hold, bend this knee, lengthen through. This ear is towards the floor. We're lengthening through. We're stretching through. You should feel the upper back stretching, shoulders. One more breath and release. Roll it up nice and slow. Excellent work, you guys, so good. Okay, now we come down to the right side of your chair, all right, and we're gonna do a downward facing puppy. So I'm gonna be, again, that about a step away from the seat of my chair, and I'm gonna let my heart fall forward, put my hands in the chair. So first of all, my palms are here and we're going to do it from this position first and then we'll add on okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bend one knee and just let myself kind of a tick tock if you will right take those legs straight and let's take that other knee bend it and look come back center do that again just a little movement of those hips and i'm looking over there's a little neck stretch let's come down and we're going to go the other way. And come center. Go ahead and roll it up and take a break. Okay, so that's a great version. Excellent. But if you want a little bit more, instead of being on your hands, we're going to come down onto the forearms. All right? So I'm going to hinge forward, take it to my hands first, see how that feels. Then I'm going to let my heart fall a little bit further and my forearms are on the mat, on the um, chair. Now, I'm gonna take a step back 
All right. I'm going to press my heart back. You see what I'm doing there? Pressing my heart back. I'm looking down at the floor. Now I'm going to walk my dog. Take a bend to that left knee. Let the kind of the hips rock a little bit. Take a bend to the other knee and let the hips rock the other way. Do that again. Just move one knee and then the other knee bends. One more time, bend one knee, then bend the other knee. Go ahead and calm the feet. Take a step forward and roll it up nice and slow. All right. So that is, you know, downward facing puppy. And the next pose we're going to do is Sphinx pose. So the difference is in our downward facing puppy, we were on our forearms, we took a step back and we pushed our hips up high, right? You remember that? Now in Sphinx pose, our feet are gonna be a little closer to the chair. So here's the thing, you may wanna bend the knees a little, especially if you have tight hamstrings. I have tight hamstrings, right? So if you have tight hamstrings, you may have to bend those knees just a little bit, and it's okay. So the first thing we're going to do again, belly button is to spine. We're going to roll down, and we're going to let's start with our palms. Put one palm down, the other palm down. Notice how I'm bringing my weight forward, right? So my weight's not back here. My weight's going to be a little bit forward. Okay, let's go ahead and move down into those forearms. Now, do you feel your hamstring stretching? So this is the position that you might need to bend your knees a little, and that's okay if you do. All right, let's look down at our chair. Okay, so I want you to pull your belly in, and I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades behind your back. Now, you're going to look down at your belly button, then you're going to lift your head and you're going to kind of look out. I, I hope that you can look beyond the seat of your chair. Do you feel that stretch in the shoulder blades? Are you pulling your shoulder blades together? All right, let's go ahead and look at our belly button again. Don't lose that shoulder blade squeeze. Let's look up again. You're looking past where the seat of the chair is. Now look down at your chair. Now I want you to look over at me. Hello. Look back down at your chair. Look over the back of your chair or at the back of your chair. Look back down. Are we ready? Pull that belly button to the spine. Press your hips back and roll it up nice and slow. How did that feel? <laughs> that good? Sphinx pose. That's kind of nice. So, so that is all trying to get a little bit of stretch through those shoulders. And we did a little head nod and a little head shake, which also gets the neck. Right. Let's grab a sip of water. All right, we're gonna to come to standing on the right side of our chair. Now we're going to be doing a sun salutation. <clears throat> Again, we'll be adding our, our forward fold with our rag doll and head nods. So I'm gonna tell you, if you would rather, I'm gonna be doing it facing you, but if you would rather be doing it here facing your chair, you'll have that chair for support as we halfway lift forward fold right and do everything so you'll have your chair there for support so it's a great option feel free to do that if you want to if you're with me we're going to be standing on the right side of our chair facing forward now what the other thing i want to make sure is that you're not to the point where you're going to when you move your arms you're going to hit the back of the chair so just make your adjustment move forward just a little bit all right okay bring your hands to your heart we're going to take a deep breath in and on an exhale, we're going to bring those hands up, mountain pose. You can look up if that works for you and bring your hands to your heart. Let's inhale here. 
Exhale, up we go. Bring those hands back around all the way to your heart. And we're going to do that one more time and then add on. Here we go. Big circle. Up we go. Mountain pose. Bring your hands to your heart. Up we go. Now listen, we're going to add that forward salute. So we're going to bring those for hands forward. Bring them by your arm, by your side. Shoot those arms back behind you. Shoot your head forward into that forward salute with airplane arms. We're stretching through one more breath. Bring your hands to your heart. Let's do that again. Up we go. Bring your hands to your heart. And this is your inhale. If you want to add that breath, exhale as you come forward into that forward salute with airplane arms. We're going to stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out. Bring your hands to your heart, adding on. Here we go. Up we go. Bring your hands to your heart. We're going to go straight into that forward salute with airplane arms, stretching out. Now I'm going to place my hands on my thighs and I'm going to let my heart fall forward. So if you were facing the seat of your chair, your hands would be in the seat of your chair instead of on your thighs. Let that head fall. And slowly roll it up. Bring your hands to your heart. Let's do that again. Big circle. Up we go. Diving forward is your exhale. Forward salute. Stretch it out. Hands on thighs for a forward fold. Tuck the chin and roll it up nice and slow. Okay, so now what I'm going to add on is when we come into that forward fold, instead of having hands on your thighs, you're going to go ahead and fold all the way down, and then you're going to grab your elbows and hang out in a rag doll, okay? So if you're, again, if you're facing your chair, you're going to be doing the exact same thing. And so instead of having do, ha, grabbing onto your elbows, you're just going to have your hands in the seat of the chair. All right, here we go. Big circle, up we go. Diving forward, belly button to spine. Forward salute, stretch, lengthen through that spine. We're going to forward fold, bring those hands down towards the floor if that works for you. Grab your elbows, and we're going to nod our head yes. And we're going to shake our head no. We're going to nod our head yes. Drop your hands towards the floor, bend your knees, and roll it up nice and slow. Okay, how did that feel? Everybody good? Okay, we're going to do that again. So this time, when we come into our rag doll, we're going to go ahead and heel toe our feet, heel toe, right heel toe, a little bit wider. Same thing. If you're facing your chair, you're going to do the same thing. Heel toe those feet a little bit wider. So then when we come forward into our rag doll, maybe if you're, even if you're facing your chair, maybe then you want to see if you can grab those, those elbows, okay? It's all good. Either way is fine. All right, so I've got my feet hip distance apart. I'm going to bring my hands to my heart. Let's do it. Up we go. Inhale here. Exhale, we're going to dive it forward, belly button to spine. Now let's put our hands on our thighs for a halfway lift instead of a forward salute. So I'm stretching my head forward and my seat back, okay? Stretching out, forward fold. Let the head fall. Heel toe your feet. A little wider. Bend your knees. Grab your elbows and feel the low back stretching. Nod your head yes. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Go ahead and drop your hands towards the floor. Heel toe your feet back together. Bend your knees, roll it up nice and slow. Ha! <sighs> Can we do that just one more time? We got this. Hands at heart. Here we go. Up we go. Inhale. Exhale. Dive it forward. Ha! <sighs> Inhale. Hands on shins for a halfway lift. Forward fold. <sighs> Heel toe your feet wide. Grab your elbows. 
Hanging out in ragdoll, bend the knees if you wish. Nod your head yes. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Hands to the floor, heel toe your feet back together. Place your hands on your shins. Give me one more halfway lift. Stretch through that spine. Forward fold. And bend the knees, roll it up. Nice and slow. Ah, all right. Good job. Let's grab a sip of water. Okay, let's drop that right ear to the right shoulder. Now we're just simply going to look up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and look center, and then we're going to look down at the floor. Go ahead and look center, and bring that head forward. Ah, oh. Let's drop that head the other way. We're going to look up towards the ceiling. We're going to bring it center. We're going to look it down at the floor. Go ahead and look center and bring that head up. All right. Let's do that again. So we're going to drop that head, uh, that neck, the head over. I'll get it right here in a minute. Now let's extend that hand out. Flip the palm up to the ceiling. Bring the hand down, lift the head up, other side. Drop in that ear down towards the shoulder. Let's extend that opposite arm out. Palm faces down first. Now flip that palm up to the ceiling. You feel the difference? Just a little difference, right? And release. Very, very good. Okay, so now we're going to clasp our hands behind our back and just lift our heart up, okay? So you're squeezing your shoulder blades behind you. Your heart is lifted. Now draw that left ear to left shoulder. Go ahead and look center and then drop that other ear to the shoulder. Go ahead and look center and release. Whew. Right? Do you feel that? Can we do that just one more time? Clasp those hands behind the back. Lift up. Drop that right ear to the right shoulder. Go ahead and lift. And lift your left shoulder. Lift it up and release. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is a, ten, a chin tuck. And I'm going to turn to the side just so you can see it a little more clearly what I'm doing. So we're going to take our hand, our finger, and we're just going to put it right on our chin. Then all I want you to do is take your chin away from your finger. Leave the finger right where it is, and then just pull your chin away. You see what I'm doing? And then release it. And do that again. Pull that chin away from the finger. And release. Final time. Here we go. Pull it. And release. All right. Ah, excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. So we're just going to do one more chest opening here. The thumbs are back towards the, the wall. We're opening our chest, squeezing those shoulder blades behind our back. One more breath here and release it. And let's do that one more time. Turn those thumbs to the back wall. Open up that heart. And release. Okay, 
So this is going to be for our scaling. So I'm going to take this hand and I'm going to place it on my opposite collarbone. So your collarbone is here and your hand's just going to go right above it. And basically you're kind of pressing in and we call that pinning those muscles. So you're going to try to keep those muscles from moving to get a little deeper stretch. Now we're going to look over the opposite shoulder first. Do you feel that? My scalings are always super tight, so I really feel it. All right, go ahead and look center. Now we're going to look down towards the floor. All right, go ahead and look center and release it. You feel that stretch? Yeah. Okay, let's do the other side. So we're going to pin those muscles right above the, the collarbone. Okay, so now we're just going to look to the opposite side first. And go ahead and look center. Now look down towards the floor. Just breathing into it, feeling that stretch of those scaling muscles. Let's go ahead and look center. Now look up. I don't think looking up is quite as much of a stretch, but it's still a good option if you want to do that. Let's go ahead and look down and release. All right. Very, very good. So these muscles, these trap muscles here, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to um, extend one arm down towards the floor, okay? And then we're going to pull our, gently, gently, we're going to place our hand here on the head and we're going to pull it very, very gently. One more breath. Let's go ahead and release that and we're going to go to the other side. So that hand is going to go down towards the floor. This hand is going to come up. We're going to just gently, ever so gently, pull ear towards your shoulder. Just one more breath here. Go ahead and release that. All right, very, very good. Okay, so the next one, these these muscles that help us raise our shoulders. So we're gonna take our hand, and instead of coming across like we did on the, the, the with the collarbone, we're gonna just hold those muscles back behind on the same side, okay? So you're kinda of just holding those muscles, trying to pin them, as we call it. And then what I want you to do is look down at your opposite, or over, over this leg, down at the floor. Just one more breath here and release it. Okay, and let's do the other side. So again, my hand just kind of reaches back behind that shoulder. I'm going to hold those muscles there and then I'm going to look down towards the floor on that opposite side. Just one more breath here and release. Very good. You want to give them one final stretch of those shoulders? Excellent. Let's go ahead and sit back in our chair. Close your eyes. Let your hands rest lightly in your lap, palms facing up. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Highest level. Throw the worthless junk out of your mind. Now put that mind to work along with your body, your spirit, the whole of yourself. Stop allowing the meaningless nonsense to dominate your awareness. Disconnect from it and do all the good, useful things you are able to do. There's no shortage of foolishness in this world, 
but it doesn't have to slow you down. Leave it all alone and focus your existence on positive purpose, on love, compassion, and excellence. Engage yourself fully in life and connect richly with all those who live it. You can do so without being dragged down into the pettiness and absurdity. Remind yourself how precious your own life is and how precious every love other life is. Let your respect and desire for the highest possibilities drive your every thought, word, and action. With utmost kindness and understanding, refuse to accept any less than the best from yourself and from others. Live it at your highest level and bring the whole world along with you. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Bring your hands to your heart, honoring one another. We say Namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. And I hope that you'll leave me a comment and subscribe to our Bottoms Down YouTube channel. I will see you next time.